Well, all right. Hello. Welcome back to another uh, yeah. Sunday night episode. It's great. Wow, football's going on, and all the and then and then uh, NFL, and then they did all the college football announcements today. It's a big, big game. Can you? I, I, well, I don't think I'm going to say you cannot name the four playoff teams. In, in uh, well, I just, I'm wearing my Hawkeyes sweatshirt. Iowa did not make the Final Four. Yeah, well, I just did look up a, a picture with the uh, Bowl Series, oh, so, okay, so um, I actually it. can't. But that uh, you you are correct. I would not have known that. Well, uh, LSU is going to play. Oklahoma. All right, well, Gene, Gene we, we can talk about that later. All right? oh, okay. we, we, I have a whole se- – Gene, I have a whole segment. Oh, by the way, Iowa – Attached is to it. The, Iowa's playing in the Holiday Bowl, which is in San Diego, where we haven't been for – Okay. I think 16 years, and we're playing USC. Okay. Uh oh. What is USC? They're they're bad, right? They're no, not they're good. Eight and four. Iowa was nine and three. Oh. They, well, well, is, is Matt Leinert back? Yeah. Is he playing again? Last time we played USC in a bowl game was the Orange Bowl, and they had Carson Palmer, and they beat us by about 70 points. We ran back the opening kickoff, and then uh, they took it to us from there. Yep. So All right. But this time it's going to be different. San- oh, it's in San Diego. Did I mention that? So, uh, um, all right. So you are going to that game? Yes, my whole you're, family. You're planning? Are you oh, take, yeah. Are you take the train, Gene? Uh, no, because I'll be driving. Probably have to drive my mom and dad. Mom and dad. Mom and Why? Because because they're flying in here to LA. Oh my gosh, my dad went to the Holiday Bowl. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that he was still alive the last time I would play. Uh, yeah, they're we're all going to meet in Dallas, and then they're flying out here. And then uh, we're going to drive down to San Diego. All right, let's get them. November or December 27th, the week, the night before the playoff. And Wisconsin's in the Rose Bowl. There you All go. right, Rhett. Well, we were going to talk about that. Okay, but, uh, I'll save that then. Forget I said that. All right. Well, Gene, this is the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Mm. And uh, my name is Chris Stotts, and that is uh, Gene. You're Gene Hello. Steichen. Yeah. I'm wearing my Hawkeyes. And uh, G- all G- Iowa. Gene's all in in Iowa. Yep. Loves everything about Iowa. We got to get, we got to win. We got to beat uh, USC. I hope. So you can Are you see. going to? I, I, we're, we're what, slight what, favorites. What, yeah, maybe. What, is this like the Holiday Inn Bowl? <laughs> or like, what, what's the Holiday Bowl? <laughs> it's always been named the Holiday Bowl. It's in San Diego. Who's taking a holiday here? Huh? I don't know. I guess when you go to San Diego, you're kind of on holiday. Is it, isn't it ironic that uh, the people playing in the Holiday Bowl ain't taking a holiday? <laughs> Everyone well, else is? I mean, look, at your college kids and you get to go to San Diego. and, and uh, Is it always know, San Diego? Holiday Bowl is, yes. Is, is it sponsored by the city of San Diego no, or something? No, I think it's sponsored by, I don't know, they've changed names over the years. Sponsors and they play in that Chargers old stadium. Yeah, they play in Qualcomm. It's not called that anymore. Or whatever the fuck. No, it's called now SDCCU Stadium. Oh, SD. Oh yeah, SD- it's San Diego State University or yeah, the, that's where the they Devils, play. the Sun Devils or something. No, the San Diego. Uh, they're the Aztecs. So you're close. So they swapped stadiums with them or something. Well, they took over the. They they played the Chargers stadium. Chargers so g- g- good enough for the uh, student athletes, not good enough for uh, the yeah. pro football team. That's right, exactly. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right. Last time we played in the uh, Holiday Bowl, Iowa, and I was there. We tied Brigham Young. We played BYU, and it, we tied them thirteen to thirteen. Ouch. You know who was the quarterback? He Brigham think, Young. No, I that's think, how far back it went. I think it was Ty Detmer. Maybe, or maybe not. Ty Demmer. I think the I Packers know. took Ty Demmer, I think, I Could believe, be. right? I think I was yeah. one of the pack, uh, players yeah. of the Packers. Oh, there's, there's my sister, Dawn. She's got to – I know, my Iowa – I got – Did I you got make that hoodie, hoodie, Gene? I got – no, this is not a made one. This okay. one I bought from Dick Sporting Goods in Dubuque, my hometown. I, I happened to go in there a couple of years ago, and they had this one on the discount rack. And I go, oh, it's abandoned. This Hawkeye – so I, I bought it. It's discount a rack? It's a Nike. So you, you slop, sloppy seconds? Yeah. I said, hey, uh, you don't give Iowa. D- <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'll get, I'll get the sweater home. Uh, it's my, like sister a puppy. Dawn, my sister Dawn uh, in Texas, she's the one that's organizing the whole holiday bowl trip. All right. And, and the last time we were there, 
Uh, we went with our dad, and we tied bring. I was just saying that it's 13, 13. Okay, you're all caught up. <laughs> right. Okay, go on. Or she could rewind the, uh, or she could listen to the episode. Maybe she already knows. All right. (laughs) This isn't, Gene, this isn't uh, MCI Friends and Family Hour, okay? It brings back memories because my dad was at the game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I uh, he, stepped when, on this when, moment. I think we took my dad to Tijuana, hoping someone would actually kidnap him and maybe keep him from us. But he came back with us. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Gene, uh, very, yeah. very fascinating. Mm-hmm. Very fascinating. Yeah. Gene, we are going to start. Okay. With I saw the, the this Chicago game. Bears. I saw every play. I believe. Yes, I didn't have the sound on. But I did watch At the every game. play. You say, Gene? I I think so. Didn't oh Cowboys scored in the opening drive. I know that. And then the Bears. All right. So we're ball. talking about uh, Chicago versus the Dallas Cowboys. Oh man. Um, Chicago Bears off a uh, nice win against the uh, Detroit Lions. <sighs> Probably the most pathetic team. One of the most pathetic right. teams in the NFL. Lions, they got Lions. Got to get rid of Patricia. It's over. They didn't score. It's by over. the way, they didn't score a single point today, I believe, right? The Lions yeah. against the Vikings. Hello. That quarterback's not that great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another Thursday night game, Gene. Right. Bears. I, I kind of like how they, uh, you know, they take the two of the uh, thir- Thanksgiving Day game players. Yeah. And then just make them play, like, next week. Next like, Thursday. screw your 10-day, uh, yep. you know, day off. So, basically, the Bears play, like, three games, like, in uh, 18 days right, or something right. like that. It's okay now they got ten days, which is good. But if you're the Cowboys, you're like, uh oh, we got ten days of Jerry. <laughs> yeah, ten days of uh, Jerry on the radio. Oh my gosh, he he's a mess. Well, Gene, uh, something uh, very unlikely must have happened because uh, Mitch Trubisky had two good games. I know in did a he, row. He, he did you see his first interception? Not good. But then he really started rolling. The Cowboys. It's not the Bears. Well, the Bears are okay. They're okay. Uh, they're playing better, but the Cowboys. Dallas is pretty bad. They're psychologically wounded. Something's wrong with them. Yep. And, uh, well, Gene, my expert analysis of the Chicago oh, Bears okay. is, is because uh, Mitch Trubisky is running more. Yes. A lot and of I always that, w- right. thought that, you know, he was always best. You know, he got to the Pro Bowl because he would r- he had that he run threat. He was a threat. Pro Bowl alternative. I don't know how many quarterbacks had to drop off from him to make it, <laughs> but I'm telling you, a lot. He was like six in the death chart. If that. Yeah. I mean, because all the playoff guys are going, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no good thanks. for him. He finally, I mean, it kind of took some of the heat off. Uh, we got some quotes after the game. Yeah, so he had a pretty decent game. He did. Bears okay. say, uh, and you know what? They, you know, he, he, I think he got the ball. He had to get the score some points to put the game away. Right. And he did it. Bears say they've always trusted their leader, Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> that. I have a hard time believing. Hey, Don't you? I'm, I'm sure some of those passes, they didn't trust him that much, right? After seeing some of those passes sail over the receiver's head. Right, right. Sure, it wasn't, uh, you know, 100% the whole time, right? Yeah. Let's not get crazy here. Um, and, Gene, uh, you know, this is the second uh, big national game in a row that yeah. Mr. Trubisky shined. Is he the anti-Kirk Cousins? <laughs> Can he only play on these big games? But these, uh, you know, 12 o'clock in the afternoon yeah. games, uh, you know, when no one yeah. cares, no one's watching, uh, I don't know. he messes up. I don't big, know. He's got a long way to prove himself. Big, big Show Mitch? Is that what they call him? I don't think they call him that. No, Big Show Mitch? I don't think so. I think people are kind of relieved that he had a good game and maybe there's hope. But he, he's... He, it's it's still a huge disappointment. I like uh, it was Troy Eggman or Joe Buck, one of these guys, saying yeah. uh, we were watching the uh, maturation of Mitch Trubisky. Wow! And it only took three years. <laughs> okay. What game what was this game? Thirty, Mitch? <laughs> yeah, three. Oh, for sure, sixteen. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Sure. Uh, how many how many games does it take uh, Deshaun Watson to uh, mature before our eyes, Gene? Uh, not that many. How about uh, what's his face, uh, Patrick Mahomes? Right. He was looking pretty mature when I uh, first saw him play. But don't right. you, aren't you happy for <laughs> Mitch and the Bears? 
I don't know. They're gonna they gotta go to Green Bay next week. So hey, I'm uh, I I like I, I give Mitch a lot of shit, but I like Mitch. So uh, it's nice to see him uh, play. Well. I think people are really worried about him, but maybe their pressure's off. I want I want him to play just good enough for the Bears to keep him around for like ten years. Oh my gosh! And well, they will never get anywhere. They're coming into his fifth. No, they got to decide about his rookie deal. So I don't know what they're going to do. They're certainly what, not going to give what him was, a big extension. You have the pulse of Chicago talk radio. Yeah, what was the uh, response? Because next year, next year is his final year on his rookie deal, I think, before they got – no, uh, people are – Not are fooled? Relieved. There's no way they're doing a contract like the Rams with Jared Goff and uh-huh. they're screwed forever. They're like, okay, Mitch. What do you think his agent asks? for, uh, like, Mitch's like, first uh, contract. We'll check back with us in a year. Uh, I mean, well, hey, Kirk Cousins got $80 million. Uh, we want $120. Million. They're going to be like... What about Dak Prescott? He doesn't have a contract either. I feel God, like well, I'll tell you what, after that game, I, I, uh, he's got to sign his contract after a good game because some of these other games are not looking so hot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All right, well, Gene, it wasn't all uh, kisses and candy oh, for the Bears. Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith is... Bears linebacker Roquan yeah. Smith is feared to have torn his peck. I think it's more than in the fear. game. Yeah, uh, he's he was really impressed recently, yeah. out for the season. Mm. Well, Gene, I hope he found his iPad because uh, he's going to be out of commission for a while. Yeah, he's going to be watching a lot of Amazon Prime, Gene. Oh my God! Why he heals up? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. So, uh, but there's hope because uh, I listen to a lot of Chicago sports radio, and they're thinking. Now all we have to do is go into Green Bay. <laughs> yeah. Let's beat the Packers, yeah. and then it. They, they, and then the Vi- this. The Bears got to play Green Bay, then they play Kansas City, and then they finish at Minnesota. Good luck with that. Well, Gene, I was saying last week you'll be lucky if you win any one of those games. Yeah. You absolutely. won. You won Dallas. Dallas. For, you so far, Dallas, Dallas is terrible. That's Dallas. If if uh, Jason Garrett was a dog, you would almost have to put him down, <laughs> wouldn't you? Jesus. Even if I mean his pulse rate might be good, but you're like, I don't think so. Uh, We're gonna start yeah, over. Yeah, when he stops chasing after rabbits, you he, know, let's put him down. They'll finish the year. They could still, who knows? Maybe let's put him out of his misery. He should just resign. Say he's not even worth it. <clears throat> he will. He'll get a job somewhere else. He just needs to get out of freaking Jerry's. Uh, yeah. I certainly wouldn't. Game. Hire I'd hire uh, Mike, uh, what's his name? The old Mike Packer. McCarthy? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sure him, him and Dak probably have a lot in common, right? Yeah. I think, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, Gene, more more Bears news, Gene. Mm. We're not done yet. Oh, okay. Khalil Mack. Yes. Pay, p- pays off Walmart layaway accounts, accounts in his hometown. Oh, Gene, explain to the kids what layaway is, Gene. Uh, that's when you just, it's basically shoplifting, isn't it? No, it's basically a credit card, only you don't get the thing. Oh, yeah. You, you put stuff <laughs> You make away. payments on things oh. you don't even have, oh, and they yeah, like, keep it in the back. It. You have to pay for it before you get it? I, oh, it's not opposite. I think this was before everything was made in China. No, they still did layaway. Okay, so I like this TV. Oh, we'll hold it for you, and then when you get a job and you can afford to pay for it, you can come back and have yeah. it. Or, or you can pay us twenty dollars. Well, this is back in the eighties. Oh, you can okay. you can pay us ten dollars every week until it's paid off. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, it's like, well, why don't you just buy a TV when you have that so money? So Cleo Max said, "I'll just buy it." <laughs> I guess the folks folks the, are still doing no, layaway. Uh, well, Gene. God damn it. Now I'm finally going to be able to get that uh, copy of Candyland I've always wanted, all right? Is that some pedophile clown movie? <laughs> you know, Candyland, the game. Or oh, maybe shoots, game. Or shoots oh. and Ladders? How about that? Okay. I thought Candyland, I, it sounds like a, a pedophile movie. Maybe. There must have been a movie made like Gina, that. Gina, shoots and ladders or layaway? What more, What? What? <laughs> what less could you explain to the kids? I don't even know how to play shoots and lines. I don't either. I've never done either. It's like for babies. Right. All right, and then uh, let's go over to uh, Washington to play the Green Bay. So this game, Today. I didn't see one snap. Although I have Aaron Rodgers as my quarterback on fantasy, and he didn't put up huge stats today. I think he only had like 160 or something like that, or 100, or maybe yeah. only 200 yards. Yeah. Uh, Washington's terrible. Well, they were terrible, but uh, I think the, the, the Packers, I don't think they uh, – 
they get ahead of these games. They like look really good for a couple drives, and right. then I think they feel like, okay, we're good. We don't they have were to fourteen nothing, right? We don't have to try too much yeah. harder. And then uh, usually what happens is these teams kind of stick around, and uh, it gets a little bit scary near the end because Washington, what they uh, close within five points, yeah. I believe, right? Did they ever get the ball chance to? Um, I think they, th- yeah, but then I think they threw it. Uh, I can't. Re- quite remember That's oh no no they did an onside kick and then uh packers recovered oh, okay. it so mm. so that was that um uh but you know what uh you know the packers had to score some points at the end and uh they got it done and they won the game again they play the uh bears next week bring on in the green bears. bay yeah a couple uh other facts uh from the uh from the game you know, Gene, they got these uh, player expression cleats things. Oh, yeah. Was that this week? These days, yeah. I mean, yeah. who knows when right. this stuff is. It seems like it's completely random. Uh, a- Aaron Rodgers wore, wore cleats uh, for the California Fires. Wow. Yep. Yep. Wow. Well, so, he is from Northern California. Yep. I mean, he'll he'll will he'll he'll wear a pair of shoes, but he won't call his mom when the house is burning down. I guess so. his mom lives in Northern California. Don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the story was that his mom was in a car, and it was uh, the house was burning around her. Right. And uh, Aaron Rodgers, I guess, was uh, driving race cars with uh, Danica Patrick. I went to Butte Community College, right? Yep, that was Before his first college. Yep. And Gina, Rondé Barber was calling the game, Gene. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, there well, you go. Tiki. Not, not Tiki, Gene. Tiki's, Rondé I Barber. I think Tiki's still unemployed. I'm not sure. Jeez. Rondé was always the most uh, talented one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he made the comment uh, because, you know, the uh, Green Bay Packers were uh, driving and all this stuff. Look how quiet it is when Aaron Rodgers is working. Such oh. Such smart fans. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Rondé? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Rondé? Yeah, Rondé. Uh, it's not because, uh, they're smart fans, okay? It's because they're fat and lazy and they don't want to stand up and make noise. Yeah. And when you do, they actually, uh, tell you to sit down. Yeah. It, they, they ain't smart. They're just lazy, okay? And they can Spoiled be, fans they for the past 20 be, years. Because every time the, the Packers, when they're on offense, they put it up on the scoreboard, offense at work. <laughs> don't you? I mean, don't you want like some noise during the offense to like get them pumped up? Yeah. Some noise. Mm. I don't know. All right. So another win. Good job. I mean, at least they won. It's kind of disturbing. I don't know. Maybe well, they're, yeah, I don't know. You, they won. you would never yeah. say that if he wasn't your quarterback in uh, yeah. football. No, fantasy I, football. I'm glad they won. I'm, I'm looking for. I hope the Bears Packers is on TV next week. Um, I'll say this about the Redskins. Any of you uh, Redskin fans out wow. there who uh, have been dying for us to talk about the Redskin fans? Defense is uh, pretty good. Is it? Uh, Hawk, is Hawkins the guy named or Dwayne Dawkins? Haskins. Haskins. Yeah. I mean, he was – I mean, I don't know. He got sacked a bunch, but, I mean, seems it seems like all so, right. It seems – it just seems so hopeless because they, they, they got to get a new coach and they'll probably fire the GM. And they just have no receivers, too. That's another yeah, problem. So. It's, yeah. No yeah. running back. It Defense is be, good, though. It sucks, though, to be in football when you're in that when crappy zone. It just takes forever to get out of it. How do you it's fire – how do you fire Jay Gruden? When, was it his fault that uh, Alex Smith's leg got uh, yeah. snapped in two? Right. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. He's another guy uh, the Bears are talked to. I mean, Bear fans are like, let's bring in Alex Smith next year. <laughs> let's see if he can walk. How about that? Jeez. Let's start right there. I like how you'd rather have a guy with a snap leg yeah. other than Colin Kaepernick, uh, quarterback. Yeah. By the way, did you hear that uh, one of the receivers yeah. at that right. <laughs> fucking – at that sh- – Did you at, see the video that, of him? No. He was uh, at some high school. I saw the video, but – yeah, but one of the receivers at that practice got hired before he did. Like, mm. what a joke. Yeah. What a goddamn joke. All right, let's talk about the Vikings. The Vikings have played two games they are good. since we uh, since we last spoke, How Gene. They today? Well, they lost against uh, Seattle on Monday night, that, if you I recall. I saw some of that game. I did. That was a good game. Yeah, they did. They're, Kirk um, Cousins was good Monday, wasn't he? Uh, until the last drive. He oh. uh, was a little rushed. Okay. A little I, rushed I at the end. I asleep by then. And could not complete the game. 
Uh, let me ask you about this, though, Gene. Monday Night Football, I, don't, I know you have the sound off and all this right. stuff. But have you noticed, have you seen these, uh, you know, these intros and outros to the, uh, you know, between commercials? They show, like, a band playing, like a small little band, like a uh, American country band or something like okay. that. Well, it's like a indie band or something, and they, you know, they play the Monday Night Football theme, and I think oh. they play it in different versions depending on the uh, city. Wow. And uh, I, I remember, you know, last week or a couple of weeks ago because the Packers were playing, and I thought it was just some shitty band from like, you know, Green Bay or something. Right. But uh, Gene, they're on every single week. All right. On Monday Night Football, Gene, like playing music, like. Yeah. Is this like the producer's like brother's band or something, or his <laughs> kid's band? I mean, why are these guys on the fucking Monday Night Football show? I don't know. That one, I don't know. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the... I, I, now I'll have to, I'll have to... Yeah, please, please watch, Gene. I will. And who's then we'll talk next week. Who's playing tomorrow? Uh, it is... Uh, Somebody. I'm not sure. Oh, I think Pitt, it's... A, uh, I don't no, know. Pittsburgh no, played. They played today. I uh, can pull it up. Whatever. Oh, it's some crappy game. It's the Giants and somebody else. Yeah, the Giants are playing. It's That's Giants Eli. Eagles. It's Giants Eagles. Oh, yeah, it might yeah. be Eli's last Monday night game, Gene. Yeah, and he'll he'll be on another team most likely. Well, yeah. All right, and then Minnesota played Detroit uh, today. Yeah. And uh, Detroit's defense is good, uh, although that bog, bog, that quarterback from Iowa State. Oh, David. Uh, oh, I didn't know he was Bold? from Iowa State. Yeah, David Ball or whatever. We were talking about this last week. Don't yeah, you remember this? Yeah, I just didn't know he was from Iowa State. Or maybe it was from Purdue. Maybe someone. I don't know. But oh. uh, He ain't that good, Gene. I, I, I oh, think, think I saw him, like, get sacked, like, 10 yards for losses, 10-yard right. losses, like, five different times or something like that. He's got to get rid of the ball. Man, the, um, the Detroit fans. They, they didn't just, score a single point. They just got to be despondent because it seems – now they got to start all over again, too. And – Everything they do just it just goes wrong. Sorry, Detroit. Yeah, they need uh, well, hey, they need Matthew Stafford. Yeah, and a new coach to get his and back. A new GM and new because if you fire the coach, you got to fire the GM. I think he's the one that hired him. Oh, all right. Well, wait. Let me let's put this video. All right. Um. All right, and then we just have some odds and ends. Okay. And the news cycle, Gene. Yeah. That don't deserve their own segment. I see. They almost made it, but they didn't quite make it. They don't deserve that. a picture. No. Well, Gene, the Carolina Panthers fired Ron Rivera. Oh, my gosh. He's an ex-Bear. He played for the Chicago mm. Bears, and then he was defensive coordinator for a you while. You may ask yourself, why are we talking about the Panthers coach? But, right. yes, he was a former Bear player in the yeah. 80s, went up against Brett Favre, right? Is that correct? Uh, yes, I he believe did. So. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um. Fired him. Talk, Gene, talk about a coach got fired because uh, Cam Newton's foot has been messed up for the past oh two God. years. Jesus. He's going to get rehired. It sounds like he'll get a job, and it sounds like he wants to keep coaching. So. Yeah, it'll, everyone talks about it. If I was Detroit, I'd, I'd, I'd much rather have him than Matt <laughs> Patricia. I Okay, that gives me an idea. Detroit, jump on Ron Rivera before it's too late. Because uh, he's had some, he has some good teams. How about Ron Rivera to the Bears? Yeah, that's been talked about too. But Matt Nagy, it's only his second year. Can't really do that. All right. Yeah. And then Gene, uh, there's a report that Odell Beckham Jr. I know your boy. Yeah, he's on your me. boy. I keep putting him out there. He's in my lineup on my fantasy. I I don't know why I don't learn, but well, I keep putting him out there, and he does once again two catches today. For <laughs> Thirty yards, no that's, touchdowns. That's how choked up you are about this. He's a disaster. As a uh, well, apparently he's telling players and coaches on other teams he wants out of Cleveland. Oh my gosh! Didn't he want out of New York? I mean, now you're running out of cities, uh, Odell. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, Gene, he wants uh, he wants out of Cleveland. Gene, let me let me tell you this. I, I'm pretty sure the feeling is mutual. I would think from so. From everyone. I mean, they owe him a bunch of money. They gave up a one and a three. Oh, uh, mm. and he's not. He's just not as good as Jarvis Landry. No way. He wants to be like in a big city like uh, Los Angeles or Miami or yeah, Dallas. No good luck. Pay if you. I, need I can. I, I bet he's on Dallas next year. I don't think so. That's, my That's guess. a lot of money. I mean. Dallas just they make him redo his contract. Be like, okay, well, you stay in Cleveland yeah, then. Shut right, up and right. stay in Cleveland. I know, because there's a lot of money involved. So. Mm -mm. 
All right. And then, uh, all right. And then, uh, Gene, I don't know if you heard this story, but uh, the Chiefs gear for today's yeah. game yeah. mistakenly was sent to New Jersey. Awesome. Instead, and is now on his way to Foxborough. Sources yeah. tell us, man. Kind of like Jimmy Hoffa, huh? <laughs> Jimmy Hoffa's body. I did see the Irishman, and I still don't know where he is located. He's well, in, in Giant Stadium, isn't it? Yeah, that was one of the big theories for a long He's He's buried under uh, MetLife, or the old Giant Stadium. Yeah. In the, so it'd be the parking lot, MetLife Stadium. Yeah. Did you think uh, the Irishman was too long, Jim? Uh, I don't I loved it so I don't know. It's pretty long. I mean, most But you people, saw in the theaters, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, no? there's no getting up when you're in a the theater and say, I'll come back tomorrow. No. Nope. <laughs> can't, can't pause it. And no, then, uh, most, you know, I, most like people I hear are not, being, not able to watch it all at once. So it is pretty long. I mean, but as, how can you complain? Yeah, I'm not, I don't have Netflix, but uh, it does sound like pretty ridiculous. So. All right. Oh, my God. And then we got some uh, potpourri, Gene. Uh, you ever seen the hey, segment go, on ESPN? Go, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, on uh, yeah. Jeopardy, potpourri. Right. Hey, by the way, Ken Jennings is matching up against that Vegas dude and another dude. What, boxing? Tonight. Celebrity boxing match? No, no. Uh, cele- or Jeopardy, the three winningest players of all time are doing a two-night thing. Why don't you know what <clears throat> celebrity, celebrity Jeopardy? Do they still have these Celebrity Jeopardies? Ah, that would be great. Why don't they do that. this like uh, get like big celebrities, make it prime time? Like, who wants to be a millionaire? Right, right. Remember when yeah. that was big? I don't think celebrities want to get. Did you Did you ever audition for uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Gene? I or? did not. Okay. Although, man, can you imagine you being on that show? Oh my gosh! I bet you do pretty. Good. I was on a game show a long time ago, and Charles Nelson Riley kind of asked me out. Remember him? <laughs> yeah. I only remember the uh, skit from SNL, but. Uh, yeah. Well, it was Match Game, right? Wasn't that the game? He was on Match Game, but he was on this other show that I was Jesus. on. Was uh, this guy just famous for being on TV show or yeah. game shows? Yeah. I don't shows? know how he was originally, but he was, he was very flamboyant, and he's like, oh, you're so okay, American. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Jesus. Gene, won, if, if, if that was a today, Gene, you'd be a millionaire. I know, right now. and I won what I won. Uh, it was like you have to, it was like a, this impressive. But I won, I think, five hundred dollars, oh. <laughs> which is pretty, pretty, pretty huge. <laughs> I think I did five hundred, something like that. Like You're still that. living off that, aren't you? Oh yeah, I invested <laughs> well, it. You invest wisely, yeah. I invested it. That's all I needed. All right. Well, Gene, let's uh, talk about the College Bowl. Let's talk about uh, Wisconsin, Ohio State. Yeah, I wa- now that game, game I watched now, the whole game. Now that's a game I did not watch one snap of. Wow. Wisconsin was well, Wisconsin so was good. leading the whole time. 21-7. Huh? Uh, Ohio State beat them in the second half 27-0. Yeah. This is why I don't like college football and don't watch – don't like getting excited about this because Wisconsin mm-hmm. – is one of those teams that's very, very good, but when you go against one of these powerhouses right. like Ohio State, they, they cheat, Gene. It, it's uh, they, they don't want Wisconsin in uh, the college football playoffs, okay? Uh, like, they're going to find a way to cheat Wisconsin out, just like the NBA. Right. They don't want the Bucks in the finals, mm. you know, and, uh, against the Lakers. The they want Allen Iverson to play the Lakers. I'm talking about oh, in right, 2000, right. Gene. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. I hear you. So uh, that's Wisconsin, why they don't they don't want the Badgers in the Final Four, Gene. They've they've been Ohio State's punching bag in these uh, Big Ten title games. Yeah, it's oh been, I, mean, I mean, that's by the way, if you're in a high, what else you got left to do? Yeah, you have nothing else to do but tackle people. In a few years ago, they played in the title game. I think Ohio State beat them fifty nine nothing. But I thought Wisconsin, I had a chance. I mean, they're they're uh, they're they're running back. Was re- Jonathan Taylor really good? Oh, they looked so good in the first half, and then uh, Ohio State. There, maybe their coach reminded them that the game was thirty minutes in, and they're down by fourteen yep. points, and then they just cruised. Be like, uh, boys, uh, uh, I don't you, know if you know this. But you got a lot of scholarships on the line here, yeah, boys. Yeah, you guys like all those parties you go to, right? And if you guys I, blow this and we don't make the playoffs, uh, you're tr- all walking home. Trust me, it's uh, really easy to find some infractions when we look for them. So you boys, there's a lot of money in the line for us. You boys better run a little faster. 
<laughs> is it Jim Trotter? Is he the uh, coach of the Ohio? Uh, no. Who's uh, fucking? Ryan, Ryan Day. Oh, it's not Urban Meyer, right? Like a scumbag is out of there? Um, Urban Meyer is going to be the next Cowboys coach. <laughs> you're supposed to take over USC, but nah, you can't. There. You can't. That's going to be a disaster. You can't be a. Co- you can't. We're done. We're done with that experiment of taking a college coach and yeah. turn them. You know, Sometimes but it works. But college coach is only good when you can lie to kids. Yeah. That that seems to be the biggest skill uh, necessary for a college coach is lie to eighteen year olds. Uh, but then when you actually have to uh, talk to a twenty five year old or a twenty seven year old, I mean, you can still lie to them. But uh, they have lawyers this time, right, Gene. Right. So, uh, yeah, can't lie to the lawyer. Hey, but it's great, though, Wisconsin got the – because a lot of people so, thought Penn State would get the well, Rose Wisconsin Bowl. Wisconsin does go to the Rose Bowl. That's three awesome. three losses, right? Yeah. Wow. And they're playing Oregon. That Oregon. Is so, is there, what, is, uh, is Marcus Mariota, is he playing, Gene? Or? I know, but they, their quarterback's really good. He's better than Marcus Mariota right now. All right. He's going to be a very high draft pick. Uh, or that's a great game. Oregon is really good. Really good. Well, Gene, I wonder if Dan Fouts is going to be at the game, Gene. <laughs> I bet he will. <laughs> Maybe he'll be calling it. But Wisconsin, they, wow. They, oh, that's a tough match. But Oregon won the Pac-12 title. They crush you. All right. If, if in case anyone cares, okay. I mean, what? So it's going to be uh, January first, yeah, right? Or always the right, that's, never changes. That's probably when I fly home. So no, no, I'll fly probably the thirty first. So yeah. uh, I'll probably not go to this game. But Gina, are you going to go to this game? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think last time Wisconsin was in the Rose Bowl, I went. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, I'll go. Maybe. So we'll see parade. how much tickets are. Oh, the, I don't. I think. I don't think they're going to be that much. Right, well, I remember paying 150 for the one Yeah, game. because Wisconsin fans are going to be like, no, nah, no thanks. We've been oh. here before. All right, and then, uh, Gene, shocking news out of the world of oh. baseball. Uh, third baseman Mike Moustakis. Oh, there he is. And the Cleveland's, I'm sorry, the Cincinnati Reds are in agreement on a four-year deal. Hmm. Hey, the Reds they are tell they you this, man. good, huh? Well, they're sure spending a lot of money. Well, Gene, well, uh, Marge Schott is finally uh, opening up her purse strings, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> purse book. She, you know, she won a World Series somehow. <laughs> well, it was, As an owner. It was uh, Pete, Pete Rose. It was Pete Rose that won the no, series. He uh, had so Lou, much money on the line. No, Lou Pinella was their manager. What? Wasn't then? Yeah, but wasn't uh, Pete Rose the manager also when the Reds won? No nope. World Series? He didn't win. He no he yeah, they he, beat the A's, right? In the World Series? Uh no. That was, that was Lou 90? Pinella. But Pete Rose was on the team, was he not? Or am I uh, crazy? No, he was retired by then. Are you sure about this, Gene? Yes. No, he because he retired in eighty six. He did was not a player manager. Pete for a while. Rose bet on the Reds to beat yeah. the Athletics, right? Uh yeah, okay. All right. Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's all pleasant. All right, should we? Do, do the people want us to hear about no, uh, no, '80s no, baseball? No, no. Good God! But the Reds are Reds are going to be pretty decent, and Brewers. Are they good. always say that. They yeah, say that. I know. Then they spend a bunch of money, but. But Gene, uh, yeah. let me tell you, Gene, this is just another player that recitate, recitates, 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 Res- resuscitates. resuscitates. There yeah. you go. Their career in Wisconsin. And then bounces for more money. Oh, there you go. Go ahead, oh, everyone. Just I you see. go ahead and use Wisconsin as your own little, uh, you know, gym. Yeah. Warm up gym. And then uh, as soon as the uh, going gets tough and you get bounced out of the playoffs. Right. Uh, You'll be wishing you played for a great man. You go to Cincinnati like for. Yeah. Millions of dollars and uh, job security. It always seems they do. You're right. They they make some big splash, but then it goes haywire on them anyway. Well, hey. they they take chances on these players, and then they rehabilitate them, and then they yeah. can't afford them once they have a good season. But Brewers, good job with their. Didn't they sign that catcher from Seattle, or is that someone else? Oh, San Diego, right? Wasn't it San Diego? Oh, was it San Diego? Oh, no, maybe it was Seattle, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so they did uh, make a big trade there. They gave yeah, anything yeah, away, that, too. That guy is really good. You know, he played for Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. So he's probably one of the best offensive catchers, yeah. I believe, right? So, yeah, he's uh, a brewer. Yeah, and he's, uh, the, I guess his um, scouting report, bad defense or below average defense. Yeah. So let's hope. But, however, Grandel came into the organization with bad defense. 
Yeah. And uh, he definitely uh, turned it around uh, for the Brewers. So. Mm. So uh, how about the how about the Cubs, Gene? Any uh, any news from the, the Cubs? The only thing they I now today. I'm what are the big in, transactions? I right? know now they're saying they're telling agents they can't even do little deals with smaller free agents until they clear payroll. So <laughs> I don't know what's what is, going on. What does that mean? They have more money than mm, I don't know. I trust Theo, <laughs> but it, I I think they're trying to dump a couple guys. Theo, Theo is think. staying in Airbnbs with scorpions yeah, that's right. infestations, okay? Yeah, that's right. He's got other things to worry about. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I hope Theo knows what he's doing. He does. He won a World Series, but I hope he knows what he's doing. I, so. I mean, when he first came into the Cubs, he pretty much got rid of everyone, right? Yeah. And you guys sucked for like but three years. But the guys he, he developed. Now you don't. Oh, boy. I, I, this is going to be his last year as a GM. No, he's going he's gonna to stay a couple more. Yeah, we'll see about that. Could be wrong. All right, well, Gene, I think uh, I think we learned a lot Fantastic. tonight. Fantastic! And next 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 week will be hot off the the Bears Packers. Yeah, it should be. Uh, is that going to be a sunny night game? No, they would flex that. Uh, it's probably Sunday. I hope it's on TV. We'll get the Chargers. We get screwed. I Man, the Chargers, the, the afternoon game. Well, at least the Patriots uh, Chiefs was yes, on CBS. Yeah, that was great. They did that. Well, the Fox game was uh, Chargers uh, Jacksonville. Oh my gosh! And did you see there was nobody at the game? Oof. Yeah. Yikes! All right, I'm like my 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 phone's not working. Yeah. All right, so I think we will uh, wrap it up right Let's there. Let's everyone get excited about the Hawkeyes and the Badgers and the Gophers. Gophers got a good bowl game too. Oh, no, I don't know where. <laughs> She's crazy. Michigan gets to play Alabama. <laughs> Can you imagine? Gene, like, you're acting like it's uh, impressive that a college football team got into a bowl game. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. Oh, you're right, you're right. That's, it's a joke. It's yeah. a complete joke. Yeah. No, but it is, uh, it'll be exciting. Maybe I'll go to the Rose Bowl. We'll see. We'll see, how, yeah. we'll see how it goes. We'll see how much tickets are. Okay. All right, so I think uh, we will wrap it up right there. So for uh, Gene Steichen. Uh, my name is Chris Stotts. It's oh, been I love you very much. the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>